Hello, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create 3D rotating text or object animations in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's start off with a blank new canvas, and I'm just going to go to File, New, Black Video to create a 1920 by 1080 blank video and drag that onto my timeline to create a sequence in those proportions. So now we have our black backdrop. And if I wanted to create text, for example, I could click on my text tool and go to my program window and I should see the cursor appear and I can click and type out 3D text or you can use whatever example words you want. You can select the font size and properties all in the essential graphics panel. If you don't see it, just go to window and check that panel. But here you can center the text, you can increase the size and whatnot. I'll just keep it at this basic plain font. So you can drag the clip to extend the time, properties, whatever. That all depends on your project, what you're using this animation for. I could see it be a cool intro or loading screen. For me personally, this could be cool to place in front of my streams. Before I do a live stream, I could have something say like starting shortly. But now let's apply some effects onto this text. So if we go to the effects control panel on the right hand side and search for one called 3D, you should find basic 3D in the perspective video effects folder. So if I click and drag this onto the 3D text effect and head over to my effects control panel on the left hand side to begin adjusting it, we see it's right here and we have some options like swivel, tilt, distance, and more. So since we're in Premiere Pro, it doesn't have like the most powerful 3D engine, like something like After Effects would with different cameras and whatnot. We do get this basic 3D swiveling animation, which can work just fine. But I'm going to show you how to spice it up a little bit so it's not so plain and flat. We can click this toggle animation stopwatch icon, go to the end of the clip or wherever we want, and set the animation to be five perfect rotations. That way, if we were to export it and use it in a program like OBS, open broadcasting software, it could loop that media file perfectly. So now we have a 3D animated rotating text, but like I said, let's spice it up a little bit. Let's make it more fun. Now, for some reason, if you try to add an echo effect onto this straight away, it messes things up quite in a weird way. I don't know why. My first instinct would be if we want to create more echoes, we can do that with the echo effect. But what happens is it doesn't understand which way it's going for some reason. It just gets really messy. So the workaround that I found to this, I'm going to delete that echo effect I was just showing you, for example, is to right click your clip and nest it together into a nested sequence. This is kind of going to flatten and allow you to edit it as a flat object exactly as Premiere captures it. And now that we've nested it, we can apply that echo effect onto the nested sequence instead, add a couple echoes of that three stack object, and have the decay of the echo be something like 0.5 for every duplication. So now what's going to happen is it's going to duplicate that multiple times. And we, we get this motion trail on the 3D animation which kind of makes it seem a little less basic, a little less flat. Let me play around with how many copies we make. Like, let's say if we do 10, your computer might start to get a little, get a little angry at you if you put that many number of echoes, but you can adjust the time interval and the number of echoes to create an interesting 3D motion effect. The same principle would apply if you're doing ob like PNG objects. So for example, if I had this Premiere Pro logo that I wanted to make rotate. So the 3D, basic 3D, I could do a quick rotation of the swivel or tilt. Don't forget, you can make it spin up and down with the tilt. And another keyframe at three, we see those diamonds here. I can actually stretch this out a little bit longer if I want, move that keyframe. And now this one is swiveling up and down. Kind of looks cool like a loading screen. And if I want to try to add some depth to it, let me actually right click, nest it, press OK, go to echo on my effects control panel and add that to the nested sequence instead. So since this original text was white, setting the blending mode to add didn't do any funny effects. 
but it's good to point out that if you set it to add, it will kind of brighten things in an interesting way. So instead of setting to add, which can look kind of cool actually, I can actually just set it to composite in back, which will just layer them and organize them that way. So now we have another interesting example of a 3D rotation. You could do vertical, horizontal, swivel, or tilt. So that's basically a little trick to do some 3D rotating animations in Adobe Premiere Pro. Really basic, but it was still a little bit stylish more than just the plain default one. If you want to check out another tutorial to really do real actual 3D with different camera perspectives, check out my After Effects tutorial on 3D text and objects for more information. And if you're new to the channel, definitely leave a like below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new future videos. You can catch me on social media at Justin Odisho on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter to reach out to me. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.